Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming tonight to the first annual Bluff Hall Man Pageant. On March 20th, the first ever Man Pageant, or Mr. Bluff, as it was affectionately nicknamed, was held in Bluff Hall. Five contestants competed for the title of Mr. Bluff, but in the end, only one got the crown. From the formal walk to the talent to the interview, each contestant had something unique to bring to the table. We were approached by one of the other RAs um, who was kind of coordinating this event, um, Pam, and she asked us, um, yeah. not sure why, <laughs> but... She believed that uh, we had the, the talent to, um, <laughs> in the, uh, the right attitude to approach the whole uh, male pageant and everything. So it was, I was honored, we were both honored to do this, to be the first, first host of it, so yeah. I wanted to do something fun with residents because as an RA it's really hard to get like people to come to events, like our attendance is pretty low. So um, they did this for, they did a man pageant in my high school and it was to raise money for post-prom and it was a huge success so I figured we could do it here and it turned out it was a huge success here too. Um, actually, my RE, she nominated me for it, you know, it was all her idea. She was like, yeah, Stacy, I think you should do this man pageant that I'm trying to set up. And I'm like, well, okay, I guess I can do it. Sounds like it'll be fun. Yeah, I was coming downstairs one day, and it was um, at the information. I'm like, so what is this about? And they explained it to me. And I thought it'd be fun, and my friend said, you should do it. So I just said, okay, why not? I had a lot of fun, yeah. even though I failed. That was kind of embarrassing, but... <laughs> I was just sitting in my room one day, and my RA was like, hey, are you doing this in love? And I was just kind of taken back, like, I don't know what that even is. And then he convinced me to sign up and do it, and it was kind of like a last second thing, but I'm really glad I did it, though. Actually, when I was walking uh, to my room from class, I saw the flyers, so I was like, oh, I'll sign up for it, sure. My talent was, uh, I didn't exercise, but Instead of like doing P90X with your own body weight, you know, I did someone else's body weight, so I curled them and squatted them. Uh, it was actually amazing talent, you know, most people, I don't even know if they consider it a talent or if not a gift. I'm able to guess what number you're thinking of between 1 and 10 in 10 tries, which is pretty amazing if you see it in person. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part was the dancing and my, uh, my man Stacy's rap. <laughs> um, overall... I really don't have a favorite part. Everybody did a good job. It was very exciting. Something that should be done again. Um, I won a manliness award. I wasn't very happy with the results that the judges came up with. You know, personally, I thought I should have won. I won Mr. Manliness, I believe. I won Mr. Photogenic. It feels amazing. It feels like Christmas break, winter break, oh wait, those are the same breaks. <laughs> Easter break, spring break, everything combined just feels great. It's a great feeling. Um, overall, I'm going to have to give props to Ben for giving a speech um, about how to be a real man, pretty much. <laughs> but that was good. But I think definitely we'll do it again with the incoming freshmen for next year.